Hello there, and long time no see, fellow vinyl listeners and music enthusiasts. Yes, it's once again me here bringing you installment number 14 of the Vinyl Corner here on This Dog Ate My Vlogs. In today's episode, you better break out your best Panama hat and get a good map because we're going off the beaten trail, over the river, through the woods, past that tree with the funny looking branch, and over the sea, all the way to Ireland. No, we're not here to see the sights, but we are here to cover one of the Emerald Isle's up-and-coming native sons with his 2007 introductory album that brought yet another breath of fresh air to the world of rootsy folk music. Referred to by some as an early Bob Dylan, a refined Nick Drake, and Ireland's answer to Bright Eyes, here's Fionn Brigon with The End of History. Enjoy. The roots are deep below the ground I like to walk with you in the evening Up the hill and back down The Irish-born Regan, who cites Dylan and Neil Young as influences, hails from Bray in the county Wicklow and began his career under quiet circumstances with a series of four EPs released on an independent label that stemmed from the years 2000 to 2005. Following this period, Regan signed with a more prominent indie label, resulting in his second single since 2002's Little Miss Drunk, the end of history's introductory track Be Good or Be Gone, in 2006, followed up quickly that same year by his first actual full-length debut. As a side note, I have to add that these were all the dates of when his work was released overseas. He didn't actually have any material available here in the United States until the end of history's release in 2007, when he signed with former Ryan Adams' label Lost Highway. Several overseas award nominations followed his release at the end of history, including nods for Best Newcomer, Best Male Newcomer, and a nomination in Ireland for Best Album of that year. Regan followed up with his second full-length release, The Shadow of an Empire, in 2010, and has another album supposedly ready to be released later in the year. Unfortunately for those of us who happen to be American fans, however, he left Lost Highway and signed elsewhere justifiably following their shelving of an album he did with producer Ethan Johns, thus making his Shadow of an Empire album and subsequent releases a bit harder to get since he's back to being international. Insert rant about how much I hate Lost Highway and their shoddy label practices here, not to mention questionable vinyl quality in some releases, but anyway, here's my review. I apologize. I seem to have arrived home with items in my bag from your house. There's cutlery, a tablecloth, some Hennessy, and a book on presidents deceased. Catchy folk arrangements led by Regan's enjoyably smooth vocals and penchant for poetically laced wordplay that fits expertly in the vein of Roots music, The End of History really is a perfect album wrapped neatly in a little package. It's not complex in how it's put together or deep like a pool where you're struggling to see the bottom, but it's polished and perfect in that simplicity that it contains. Regan mostly produced his album by himself, and as debuts go, it really has allowed him to draw his own map, paint his own canvas, lay his own groundwork, or whatever meaning you prefer out of that. What I mean is while the spaces are there and the tunes are quieter, the end of history truly is an eloquent beginning to a musical journey that leaves a lot of room beneath the ceiling for growth and expansion as his work grows. For now though, Regan leads us on a journey that feels perfectly in place with the scenery of forests and towns and counties and farms right down to the very animals themselves. It's a soundtrack to a world that is both simple and yet yields itself to the complex narratives of Regan's classic folk style that lyrically leads us out along the long, winding, wild, overgrown path of adventure and yet still knows how to bring us home safe and sound by the end. That was a lot of breath to take. It feels like something that is in many ways a beautiful homage to his homeland. We came down by the factory Industrial yarns where my father did work I personally came onto this album when Fionn Regan's name was just starting to pop up over here through the digital sound waves of music if you looked hard enough, and after a period of forgetting about it tucked away in my digital library, I decided that I needed to both have this record in my vinyl collection and to bring it to the attention of you, the viewer. If you like articulate, simple, yet smart sounding folk music that only promises to get better, I'd follow the career of this young man starting here. Standout songs from this record are Be Good or Be Gone, Put a Penny in the Slot, Hey Rabbit, The Underwood Typewriter, Abacus, Bunker or Basement, and Campaign Button, if you have the bonus track version. But as I've said on other videos when I get to this part of the video itself, there's nothing on here I'd really consider a miss. All in all, I would give this record 
a perfect grade, since I'm out of cute whimsical ratings toys at the moment, due to the fact that it's just an all-around solid folk album and it's one of my underrated favorites after discovering it once again. As for vinyl and packaging, I would give that a good rating as well. Actually, I would give the rating a better than I expected for what the record cost. Sure, the vinyls are on the smaller side, as you can see here, 7 inches instead of 12, a little hard to tell on camera, but it is a bit smaller than normal. But quality isn't at all harmed, even though it's a lost highway pressing. Ugh. And it's an even a gatefold, which surprised me. Voila. The grass is screaming long. Midnight cars roll past. I've been chasing your room. Compared to this Horse Feathers vinyl I also recently received for the same price, the Fionn Ragon record really has great value. I mean, at the end of the day, what really matters is quality, and each of these sound exemplary, maybe a little edge to, to this. But the Lost Highway release is just a bit less cheap looking than the Kill Rock Stars one. Not a deal breaker, but with as much as I want to badmouth the Lost Highway label in this video, which they deserve, I do have to give them this one small point for presentation. I hope you all enjoyed that all too brief look at a beautiful country through the looking glass of one of its lovely musical inhabitants, Fionn Ragon. And I hope if you've enjoyed what you've heard here in this video, you'll go out and pick up this lovely album. Digitally, it can be found on iTunes along with the single for Put a Penny in the Slot, and it can also be found in all musical formats on Amazon.com. And that is all for the 14th installment of the Vinyl Corner. Check back here real soon for more reviews on all things current, present, and past. Now get out there and keep on listening to great music. I leave you now with a bit of campaign button from Fionn Ragon's The End of History. They want you to live in a cave No channel to broadcast on A troglodyte A derelict barn campaign but ten